Yo, so a bunch of people have reached out asking for a tutorial for retargeting Paragon assets in Unreal Engine 5. I want to quickly say thank you for being so patient and sorry for taking so long. I know I just suck at being a YouTuber. Anyway, let's not waste a moment of your time. Here is the final result. You can see that we have the Paragon character, Greystone. By default, his mesh comes with the sword and shield equipped because Epic hates you and wants to make your life harder. But Dilo is here to save the day to help you start using these characters without their weapons attached. First thing you're going to do is open up a new UE5 project and import any of the Paragon characters you want to use. Next, search for the RTG underscore mannequin retargeter and control B to snap to its location. In an empty space, let's right click, animation, IK rig, click Greystone, name it Greystone IK, and let's open it up. Let's also open up the IK mannequin and have them side by side. If you notice here on the mannequin's IK, there's a bunch of these chains with start and end bones. If this is your first time seeing this, try not to have a panic attack. Believe it or not, this is actually a very nice retargeter that Epic has built out. Before we dive into that, let's go to the retargeter and add our keystone IK in there. Let's scroll down to the asset browser and double click on the walk animation. If you have working eyeballs, you'll see that the mannequin is walking, but Greystone isn't. The reason is because we haven't set any of the chains up like the mannequin has for the retargeter to modify. So what we're going to do is make foundational chains to see how the retargeting looks so far. Oh, and if at any point the mesh changes during this retargeting, I just changed the preview mesh in the drop down here. Let's click add chain under Greystone's IK five times and name them spine, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. For spine, let's do spine one for the start and neck one for the end. Left arm will have upper arm L and end at hand L. Right hand will have the same thing except for the right side and left leg will start at the thigh and end at the ball and same for the right side. Next, let's hit auto map chains on the retargeter. Now what we've just done is add all the chains we set up and put them on the retargeter. So now we have a preview of how the animations look. But if you notice, they're a little weird as Greystone is wobbling back and forth. The reason this is happening is because if you look right here under chain mapping, you can see target root none and source root pelvis, which means the roots for both characters aren't matching. What we need to do is set the retarget root on Greystone's pelvis since the mannequin has its root there. That way the pelvis is the center of the animations and the rest of the bones are following along with it. Right click, set retarget root, boom, this this looks sexy. From here, I'm just going to continue the retargeting process, but if you want the individual fingers and head to align properly, you're going to want to add chains for those as well, but for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm just going to skip past this and continue on. All right, next, let's retarget the animation blueprint by searching ABP underscore Manny, right click, retarget, and let's make a new folder to save everything too. Now let's test this out by deleting the player start and dragging in a third person character. Let's rename the retargeted anim BP to ABP Greystone, and inside third person blueprint, let's change the mesh to Greystone and set the anim BP to the one we just renamed. Also under details, let's search for auto possession and set it to player zero. Now let's hit play. All right, so we clearly don't want him gliding around like he's constipated. So the fix for this is to open up the anim BP, open up the anim graph, and we're just gonna bypass the control rig here. My understanding is that this is the IK that comes with the project by default, which honest to God makes no sense to me. Uh, so I just cut it out and now hit play and great, it works, but there are a few things we need to fix. When I don't his feet are floating so let's open up third person BP and just drag the mesh downward after unchecking grid snapping. Done. The last step now is getting rid of these doggone weapons. So same as the UE4 tutorial, let's go to the anim BP and add bone transform, select the bone name associated with the weapon, put the scale to zero, and under scale, put replace existing, duplicate for as many things you're trying to get rid of, add it to both top and bottom, hit play, and done. Now you can easily use these AAA characters in your project. I noticed that 
the feet strangely don't touch the ground when running or doing some of the other animations despite lowering the mesh. From here, I'm like 99% sure that you just have to get the control rig set up for Greystone or whatever character using the same settings that are here for the mannequin. I haven't touched it because to be honest, I think I can make a simpler foot IK system than all this mumbo jumbo, but that's for another video. Anyway, if you found this helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you again for everyone who's waited on me for making this tutorial. I really appreciate your support and I'm going to be pumping out more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!